Hello and welcome to Outer Worlds. We're on the ship and we already talked with Ada. Uh, welcome aboard Apex Transport. Ooh, 2325. Reliable. Interesting. Well, maybe it's not, well, the unreliable. <laughs> well, it works. And uh, apparently it was uh, 2325. Okay. So apparently I was on a ship for like 70 years, so. Uh, whoever I I knew, most likely dead. Maybe maybe they have longer lives, but still, like most likely they are very old or dead. So not the best. I, I don't have anything to go back to, so I'm just looking to, um, well, ambushed in my own bloody ship, but also. If your equipment life. is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, oh. Captain. What do you? repair keeping your <clears throat> company gear in uh, tip-top shape is expected and something you are carrying needs repair uh, you can repair weapons and armor at a workbench using weapon and armor parts get them uh, from breaking down unwanted items uh, players with engineering skill can repair their gear without the need of uh, a work Repairing an item returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness ready to cause or prevent maximum damage. Frankly, this is the system from uh, Fallout New Vegas, I believe. Like, or at least, uh, well, they made that game and it, it worked pretty well there, so I like it. It's not something that takes away from the game, it's actually just adds to it. Wait. So this sawed-off shotgun has very low DPS, but possibly, yeah, we see the condition. Wow, this game tells you a lot about the stats, and I love that, you know. I always like that, you know, you have the information, or oh, 90... Yeah, we see the condition of the items. So I can have the shoti, but this needs to be repaired before it can be effective. Wait, what? The shoti uses the same bullets. Okay. Uh... The workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping uh, you combat ready and in tip of shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor item you want to work on, and then choose what you want to do with it, repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker or upgrade it. So, can we break down pistols? To... I want to not install mod. Yeah, this is very breakdown. This is very repair. I would like to repair my sawed off shotgun. But I can't. Right. I can, maybe. Do I have the parts? I have 15 parts. And. Can it work? I can't do it because I have four less, so I would need to break down like a pistol maybe. Break this down, we get three. So they all worth three. So I, I can break this down. Now we still don't have enough to repair. Or so I break down another pistol. Then we can repair Repair this item. I'm going to increase its damage. Uh not exactly sure by how <clears throat> Tinker. We're not doing that right now. Let's just check the DPS. It has 173 DPS. And it's a long gun. It's a sawed off shotgun. This is my uh specialty weapon in a way. Um, yeah, let's go. Post post stick. I guess we can break that down too. Seems like the game is not that finicky. Like, we use uh, the same bullets for a shotgun and pistol. We can break down a pistol and use that to repair a shotgun. I'm cool with that. Alright, I, I, I seemingly checked out the first level. Uh, Captain's Quarters. 
Right. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. What? Oh. I guess I have to head outside. And uh, Ada is just telling me to uh, bugger off. And uh, just, uh, we have to find some power thingy for the ship. I I'm actually Captain Hawthorne, by the way. Oh, hey. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? It's my ship. You sure walked in it like it was your ship. <laughs> and if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh my god. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was like, who's this idiot who parked here? But no, this is my ship now. <clears throat> I don't have a job. Really? After I patched up your friend? Exactly. Uh, you got it all wrong. I'm a Starship uh, safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Man, take care. <laughs> I love these. Oh my god. Fucking genius who came up with it. <laughs> oh, love these guys. Slogan plus, uh. Oh. Edgewater. That's where we're heading. So, plus like maximum level of bureaucracy. Maybe I set the lower sensitivity now. It's so I don't know. It's 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 ideal. Oh crap! Wonder wonder. Ideal for shooting. I'll die. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Pull out the shotty. Oh. Like this is only effective up close. That's no good. I should take a lot of damage. Where's the corpse of this guy? Alright. See you. I just opt the sense into that. Fine. Send. Without the extra health, it would have been a lot riskier. One for sure. Uh, the pistol is really good at range. I can take out multiple guys with it. I think uh, it's already night or getting dark a little bit. <laughs> she doesn't care about the guy in the cave. I, I didn't even try to defend myself with the guy. I just like, straight applied. Very colorful. I like it. Oh, uh, here. Feels a little odd that I have my weapon out all the time. But I guess if they don't mind it, I prefer it. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm good. Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. I'm no marauder. So sure I can be a marauder. <laughs> no. Uh, why do you say that? That's kind of a dumb question. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. What's wrong with you, mate? I thought he's gonna say that I'm gonna get shot for looking like a marauder, but somehow they know that this woman that no one's seen before is not a marauder. Nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay. Junior in humor. That's the title for a grave digger. 
Hey, I earned that fancy title. Started off a lowly junior gravesite builder, then junior interment engineer. Oh, and I was a junior burial assistant for a time. Love you. Whoever whoever wrote this, I love you. I am just driven mad by this nonsense. And this just really highlights it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, you seem pretty old to be a junior anything. The rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. Ow. Uh... Looking to, like, a, make a little money? Not as a gravedigger. Got a knack for being discreet-like? There's money to be made. Long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting what? means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. You try and get me do. You're trying to. So people rent the the holes their relatives are in and I'm going to extort this money that they are not paying. You're making people pay for their own graves? No, they're paying for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town 10 feet under, free of charge. Um that's mighty nice of you. <clears throat> Why can't you collect these fees yourself? I suspect this is gonna be the type of mission that's gonna conflict with my morals, and I will just abandon it. Quotas mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. All right, I collect your fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Right or not. Also, we gotta be sensible here. Like, it's not something that I can do, right? It's not something that I can reasonably get away with. Like, I did manage to kill a lot of marauders, but uh, they were mostly dumb. Ran to, well, ran up to me with the melee or just sucked at aiming. Even, even then, I got fairly wounded. So. Why is Abernathy, Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. I know that this company thing is just... I'm, I'm, I'm against it. Uh, where can I find these people? But I suppose I'm not technically living here right now. I, and I have a ship. I can just leave. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Something else I wanted to ask you? Yeah? I'm not sure what. You lose a lot of people to the Marauders? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Out. Loot? Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. I see. This town must be in a pretty bad shape if it's keeping you employed. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Right. How long have you been a junior in humor? Well, grave digger, whatever. I already talked about that, so let, let's leave. Oh. Can we talk with... no, no. I could really go for some salt tuna. 
Sleep deprivation. Tyrone, you need to sleep. Supernova difficulty, you must sleep on your ship every day to prevent exhaustion. Without sleep, your exhaustion will get worse over time in four stages. Uh, reducing your temperament, indulgence, strength and at each stage before eventually death. Wow. Okay, the thing is, I can't sleep on my ship right now. So, well, I would, I would happily sleep on the floor. Well, maybe not happily, but like, considering the circumstances, it seems like that's not an option. retirement oh. he was spade lock this door while I'm doing my stealing uh, hopefully in front of nobody I don't know maybe we steal one shovel and one spade doesn't seem like something that's really worth it can't break that the pills Terminal. Um. Dear reader, your subscription to Inhumorous Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Travels, Gazette, and Quarterly. Logs. Actually, that was something that I can hack. A name Theodore Granger, cause of expiration, industrial accident, precarious status, successfully interned in gravesite uh, 13F. Gravesite fees paid and accounted. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand, deducted 5 bits from gravesite fee. Hello. Really? Okay. Oh, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with that information, but I guess we have it. Damn. I'm thinking how doors look like. Oh, that. Yeah, this is a, a locked door, I assume. Lost the panel. Edgewater, here I come. Uh, maybe I can actually drink and uh, something. I'm not sure what I have in my inventory, but maybe we found something from the Marauders. Or maybe find something in, in town. The the tip that say that I need to rest at my ship, which I assume will be the main way we're gonna rest. Consumables. <clears throat> Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown on the top of your screen. It uses show you in an emergency. Always keeps it. Increase your medical skill to unlock more drug mixing slots. Each slot is mixed into every puff. For a combined effect, <clears throat> your medical skill increases the duration of all these effects. Okay, so uh, now we have heals. Do we have car <laughs> carbon hydrates? Oh. Can we eat this? It seems like we need to drink and rest and uh, fast ration pill. Okay. I don't think we have anything to drink. Zero G brew. No water here, right? Weapon parts. Doctor sauce. 
Great. Okay. I guess we're just not gonna drink for now. <clears throat> it In the upper left corner, we see that uh, our hunger is uh, at top. Uh, it's just full. Well, actually, like, it shows that we're not hungry. Uh, and we're a little thirsty. Somewhat tired. Keep your distance, friend. Stick out. No if you're falling sick, Residence. I don't want you near me. I, I like that, that the game handles it this way. Instead of uh, having, like, a, a lackluster conversation with them, you just with them this is a really good solution obviously you can't have a game where you just talk with everybody it would be just they just, they just can't make it in a very good quality game would need to be smaller oh look at this okay back to zap anna your mother passed away from plague. She wasn't chosen to receive medical treatment and failed to recover on her own. I found a site near the ocean to bury her. I know it's company policy to have her buried in the graveyard, but I just can't afford the fees. <clears throat> I'm heading out after dark to put her rest. Say my final goodbyes and all. I know it's dangerous to go out alone at night, but I have to chance it. And if you're reading this, I want you to know that your mother was a good person. Don't blame her for what happened. She worked as hard as she could. It just wasn't hard enough. Using your mother and your dad. Stealing. We don't know if this is... Like a joint shelter. Sick days come out of my pain. Ooh, sick house. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Yeah. Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. What's going on here? Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this. But there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. That's true. I got some training. I could take a look at you. I'm not worried. I don't get sick often. Oh, this is cool to see strength actually plays a role like that. But yeah, we don't have enough strength. Actually, if I increase my attributes a little bit across the board, maybe I would be able to use them as a uh conversation well for checks for checks basically not necessarily for conversation but for check <clears throat> like I, I could definitely see strength and uh, dexterity coming up as checks okay don't please i could get into a lot of trouble how much trouble you can get into you're already dying you obviously need help Actually, yeah, I mean, it's probably not gonna work, but hey, no harm, right? That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Right. This is very cool. I, lo I love the writing because it, it just shows like a totally different mentality that's allowed to develop over probably like at least 100 years. The people who are born into it, like they just like think this way and 
so twisted. It's ridiculous. You're just talking nonsense. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. I don't like this gun out. Is there a way to holster it? Man. Holster the gun. I, I, I feel like, especially with uh, not being able to quick save, I feel like I'm just gonna pull the trigger accidentally at some time because I sometimes also click on the conversations. And wow. And might just shoot her in the head or whatever. Ooh. What? Wait a second. Is he dead? We don't know. We would get busted with this one. But you know what? Uh, let's allow them to keep the money. Take him down! Move along. And stay down, miscreant! Oh, the rats? I really hope you're not shooting at the people. Hey, corporate guard, what's up? <clears throat> Just don't hit me, okay? In my sight. We can take this. Okay, you can shoot the rats. But still, it's a little odd. Take him down! It's not really what you want to hear at, uh, at the sick house. So, barbershop, Emerald Vale. All these buildings have very, very sturdy uh, doors and windows. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're not stealing from him. Conrad Sadiq. Does he have mechanical hands? Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical get hygiene shot in the face? recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Definitely all about lawfulness. <laughs> Relax, I'm clean. Do you do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? Oh my god. I can show you my hands. I don't want to intimidate him. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. Oh my god. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Right. Um... Oh, Silla sent me to get, get some money. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Uh, I don't understand what you said. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Very fancy words. <laughs> uh, I don't care, pay up. You have very loose definition of the word prosperity. Some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. <laughs> Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. What, well, angle medical rights? Give Silas an IOU? <laughs> what, what about the medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. 
The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Sidus an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Wow. Can't believe I'm doing a favor for this guy. <clears throat> don't you have stuff here? How much money you're supposed to give him? Sorry about this, Conrad. I'm just uh, checking the back room. <clears throat> uh, receptionist uh, shot himself. This is bad. The company is going to have a call it for what it is. Destruction of space. Spacer's choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his thief. Eugene had a full set of uh, gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and hide them out. We'll sell the thief somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price and nobody just the visor. What do you think? Don't don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Duggle your eyebrows. Village G. Nice. Taking that. Hey, Conrad. Uh, maybe I can uh, extort some money off you. But maybe you want to talk to Phyllis G. What can I do for you? I already find something. <clears throat> I know about Eugene. Why not use his thief as collateral for your gravesite fees? Oh, you sound like you had some training. I knew a thing too about medicine. What's the point? Oh. Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if you use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. What? I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got a ship. Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. <laughs> You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. Yeah. I'm gonna check him out, but not seriously. You don't seem to like him much. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. There. I got some other questions. Go ahead. So, I like this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. Are you still broke? Exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. Know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Symptoms? Why, why don't you treat all the workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. I'm bullshit on that one. That he was that. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? 
thoughtful-looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Like a guy who could use a bullet to the head. No. I want to talk what can about. I do for you? <clears throat> I know about Eugene. Why not use his thief as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I read there. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he will miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? You have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Bye. I guess we could have talked to uh, <clears throat> someone else because um, the letter mentioned someone else as well. I'm not sure about their name. Cantina! That's probably where we have to head in. So, barber slash surgeon who's broke. Oh, maybe I should just leave this door open. <laughs> that could be a good indication of where we were. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Wait a second. No, but it's fine. I I don't mind uh, like some markers like oh this is the sick house or this is the barber or whatever. Or if not, you can make the notes yourself. But apparently we don't have that option. I just have to remember. But apparently the game does show you uh, where the doors are. So with that alone, it should be not that difficult to find out. <clears throat> But actually shows that we can go in here. But apparently... Probably for selling only. I'm not sure what else we could use it for. Here. Okay, fine. Space is choice! Not a huge fan of the shotgun. Anyhow, this is a quite a big town. Alright. Uh, so just just in order to break up the adventure, uh, I'm just gonna make a cut here, and we're gonna continue on the journey. Yes, next time.